Good afternoon, everybody. Um, let me start with introducing myself. I'm Fru Benson. I had the privilege to chair the annual meeting since 2017. And I'd like to welcome you wherever you are uh, in the world. So good afternoon. It's afternoon in South Africa. Good morning to those that, that are in a different time zone and good evening to those um, that's in the East. Um, so let's start off. We, today's session will be a three hour session. Uh, we last had our meeting in, in October, 2020. Uh, obviously uh, not in the normal time slot of June. Um, you all know that that uh, was because of the current pandemic that we face. Um, this pandemic has really been unprecedented and it has affected all aspects of our life. It's good to see that uh, in the world today, uh, the number of cases per day and also the number of deaths are beginning to decline. So a lot of the countries in the world are out of their third phase. In South Africa, we are entering our third phase. So five of our provinces our uh, inner third phase. Um, for this meeting, we will, as always, review the activities of the GTFCC, and the, in particular, uh, particularly, we will look at the working groups and, and get reports from them. Um, now, obviously, eight months is a short period for major developments to have happened but we do have some uh, developments that we'd like to share with you. Um, I'd like to just highlight a couple of these developments. Uh, we have been fortunate that the cholera research agenda has been officially launched. So that has been a major achievement for us. Uh, GTFCC uh, focal point for WASH has been recruited. Um, that's another achievement. Uh, obviously, WASH is one of the developments that we need to invest in a lot because it provides long-term uh, developments and, 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 and also gains for the fight against cholera. The independent review panel conducted two reviews of national cholera uh, plans and they are currently in the process of looking at uh, uh, the review of for, for a third country. The further developments that we had is that we had a discussion on, on how to integrate community engagement into the work that we are doing. And specifically, community en engagement is essential for all of the working groups. So we're looking how we can uh, integrate uh, this Im important component within the working groups. Uh, we have been able to develop a cholera uh, research tracker and also an easy online, uh, easy to use online NCP to tool uh, that will be coming out within the next couple of weeks. At a country support uh, platform level, uh, the inception phase is coming to an end. Um, we've been able to appoint permanent staff both at central and at country level, and some of the processes are, are still underway. We'll hear um, in today's meeting a bit more about this. At uh, today's meeting, uh, we will also have some input from the independent review panel on how they assess and support uh, the, 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 the development of national uh, cholera plans. And also uh, we will have uh, some discussion on the uh, country support platform that all of you know is hosted by the International Federation of the Red Cross. We will also have an update on uh, 
the development uh, with the cholera research agenda. And, and as always, I think uh, one of the highlights of each annual uh, review uh, and annual meeting that we've got is the input uh, from, from countries. At this uh, meeting, we will have input from Mozambique, Kenya, and Ethiopia. These countries will share achievements over the last year and also their perspectives uh, with the development of national uh, national cholera plan. Um, finally, uh, we will have an opportunity to have another workshop like we did uh, last year. Uh, we will discuss the key role of mutualization of the implementation of the global uh, roadmap and also identify a few key recommendations to guide to guide the ongoing uh, developments and actions over the next couple of years. Um, in our next session, we will give an opportunity to Philip uh, Barbosa, who's well known to all of you, to give us a, a review of uh, the development since the last meeting. Uh, but before I give the floor over to him, I'd like to express my thanks, not only for the countries, uh, for what they've been able uh, to achieve under very difficult circumstances uh, over the last year, but also to our partners. Um, I need, I need to thank you for the solidarity you, you've shown for uh, the sponsors, for what they've been able to donate. I think uh, it's only through uh, some of the sponsors that some of the development has, be, has been possible uh, with, uh, with regard to our country support platform. Working together, we will get closer to our target of 90% reduction in deaths from cholera at, uh, by 2030. And uh, finally, uh, with the cooperation of everybody, we will uh, achieve our common goal of eliminating cholera by 2030. In order to do so, we must continue to strengthen our efforts. We must mutualize and uh, our respective and complementary uh, expertise and strength. Um, We've all over the, over the past 18 months had a lot of experience with these virtual meetings. Uh, and I'm certain we are all familiar with some of the rules, but I'd like to just emphasize some of them. Please, when you're not speaking, uh, keep your mic, your, your mic muted. Uh, can you also continue to um, keep your video off? Uh, if you're not having the platform, um, you are welcome to raise questions or any comments that you've got in the question and answer session um, and, and raise it in the chat box. Um, these questions will be addressed uh, during certain uh, slots within the program today and the, the secretariat will, will help with this. Um, so let's go into the first session. The first session is an update and a report from Philip Barbosa. He's well known to you. Uh, he started with us uh, a year ago. Uh, Philip, you're welcome and, and please take over the platform. 